In this video, I'm going to show you how to empty the waste and refill the sheath tank on the LSR2. Um, the LSR2 sheath tank uh, can run approximately four to five hours before it needs to be refilled. And so if there's a lot of night use or weekend use, you might find you need to fill the tank. So we have it on a scale that's zeroed out to an empty sheath tank. And it should read about 15, 16 pounds when full and zero when empty. So it's a good idea to check the scale when you get on the instrument uh, to make sure you have enough sheath for your run. To empty the tank, you want to make, uh, to refill the sheath tank, you want to make sure your instrument is on standby mode so nothing is running and you have to disconnect two lines, the air line, uh, by pressing the tab, it'll release and this has a male coupling and press the tab on the sheath line and that will release. Um, and that has a female end to it. Uh, in addition to removing the lines, what you'll have to do is depressurize the tank or you'll never get the lid open. So to depressurize, you're gonna lift up this pressure release valve and you should hear a, a hissing of air. And then you can unscrew the lid and now it, the tank will be able to, to open. You don't have to completely remove the lid. In fact, I don't recommend completely removing this lid. Just move it enough to where you can insert um, a hose to refill the tank. And there are a couple ways you can do this. Uh, I typically will pick up this tank and place it on a chair. And I'll wheel it over to the box of sheath uh, fluid which is neural diluent 2 is the name of the fluid. And we keep this hose on it. So you just put this tubing into the sheath tank, open the valve, and you'll see the fluid uh, flow. And you want to fill it, this box is almost empty, but you'll want to fill it to the weld mark right here on the tank. So you don't want to overfill it, just fill it to that weld mark. This tank isn't particularly empty to start with. And you can look inside the sheath tank to see where that weld mark is. And once you've got your sheath fluid up to that level, just close the valve. With the free tubing, if you can thread it under the handle, that is helpful uh, in the case that that valve leaks, it won't empty the entire box onto the floor of the room. Now you can wheel your uh, chair back over, take the tank, and put it back. Now you're going to reconnect <coughs> your air line and your sheath line to the tank. And the last thing you want to do is bleed any air out of, out of the lines that that has introduced or in the sheath filter. So you might see some air bubbles in this line. And so this roller valve will allow those air bubbles to come through and it'll allow you to bleed any air out of the sheath filter. So I usually just take a, an empty uh, waste cup and this roller valve, you just roll it outward with your thumb and the fluid will start flowing. And you're gonna see bubbles running through the line. And once you no longer see bubbles in the line, and try and, you can tap the filter to get the bubbles to go up to the point where the bleeder valve is. You can get any air bubbles out. And now you've successfully purged the, the system of air bubbles. And now you can put the instrument on run again, and start running your samples. Uh, the other thing you may need to do is empty the waste fluid. So the waste tank, we have, um, this is the waste tank. We have two lines on it. Um, a line that says bleach, that's when you empty it, you'll want to fill it to this line with uh, concentrated bleach, such that when the, the tank is full, it'll be at approximately 10% final bleach 
uh, for biosafety purposes. The full line, you don't want to go above this line um, because then you run the risk of overflowing the waste tank. The waste tank has two connectors. It has an orange tubing with an orange um, connector that is where the waste flows in. It also has this black electronic sensor. That's what is going to um, trigger an alarm if the waste gets completely full. So I will t remove these lines. This is just a male end. You just press the tab and remove it. And this is a twist, um, twist and pull off electronic sensor. And if you open the cap, you can see there's a float inside this system. And so the way this works is if the, if the float, if the fluid reaches the top and the float is raised, it's going to sound uh, an alarm. And then you'll know, uh, you can't miss it, uh, you'll know you need to empty your waste tank. And the only way you can get that alarm to stop is either disconnect it or empty the waste tank. Um, so if you do need to empty the waste tank, just remove those lines. And this is extremely heavy because um, it's a 20 liter carboid. So I would recommend asking the staff to, to empty it for you if people are around or if it's on the weekend and it's been getting used a lot and fills up. Um, I would recommend lifting with both hands, putting it on a chair and wheeling it over to the sink across the hall to empty it. And then when you empty it, under the, under the sink will be a bottle of concentrated bleach that you can fill to this line. And once you've done that, you can reconnect your electronic sensor and your waste line. Make sure that snaps into place. And now you successfully have emptied the, the waste tank.